and here I am again wrapping up inking of Zagor Bonelli character from Bonelli comics the guy who operates in Wild West and lives in a Wild West jungle it's a very strange world in which our hero has adventures but it works, it's popular, and um, there are people who love this character and comics with him. As you can see, I was quite busy finishing uh, inks. Now I'm doing shadows and um, Hopefully I'm not going to make too many mistakes, as I already did here. I hoped that I'm not going to use white out, but maybe I will have to. I have to see how this goes. My god, I'm inking and inking and camera is not catching it. You see this strange uh, grainy effect? that uh, my brush is making. It's called dry brush. Of course, brush can't be totally dry. It has to be either soaked in ink or it needs to have a full cartridge of ink. It is almost forgotten old technique you need a little bit of uh, rough paper with the rough surface to achieve this kind of uh, effect and to tell you frankly I never managed to do it the way it is supposed to be done until some years ago I assume it is due to the fact that most of the papers I was using were uh, so-called uh, cold plate or uh, the not rough finish, you know. There were masters of illustration who used this technique and they did it really phenomenally. Also some comic artists, but the method just didn't catch up and nowadays I don't know if it is of any interest for anyone to do um, this dry brush technique, which is kind of easier to do with uh, this brush pen because you always have problem to decide the amount of ink you need to get when you soak your brush in the inkwell and then you need to get rid of the excess ink on some kind of a towel you know so it is uh, kind of time wasting and uh, just making quicker strokes makes this uh, pocket brush, fountain brush, however you want to call this uh, thing, um, it makes it dry brush ready. And quite efficient. Now allow me to sort out the mistakes. If I don't do it now I'm going to forget later. If I forget later the drawing is going to be messy and as expected we don't want it. Uh, this is unopened white out device. Let me see. Well, 
I could almost let it go, but being tidy and all, I need to sort it out. Now, where is it? Where did I see a mistake that I need to correct? Oh, well. Um, one of the thing very characteristic for Zagor are his trousers and uh, the linear tonal uh, value is achieved by a uh, relatively steady hand and following the form. These surface lines used to be quite frequent in comics in the old days because this was uh, suggesting that the texture, the material is actually denim, you know? So this technique uh, screams blue jeans. Hmm. To make this um, recording livelier, I could have uh, found on YouTube ZZ Top and Blue Jeans Blues, but now I'm not going to interrupt our live date. Of course, I'm joking, this is not live, this is pre recorded session because I don't want the risk. I only need to worry whether the live broadcast is going to succeed or not, and we don't want no interruptions, phone calls nothing. Am I happy with uh, the drawing? To a certain extent, yes. Um, there are artists, of course, like musicians, like actors, you know, who actually made uh, a habit of being oh so critical, you know. But I... This is not an act. I'm really, in most cases, quite unhappy with uh, what I do. I can't say that I dislike my drawing, but many, many, many years ago, when I was a beginner, you know, I used to like and adore almost every uh, stroke I made. And now I'm too critical. Uh -huh. We forgot these lines here. Now I'm quite nervous because I hate myself for forgetting what did I want to correct with this uh, whiteout correction fluid. So what do we have? What have I left for the end? Zagor's head. So let me proceed with... Uh, let me just change the position because I really need this light to be a little bit Oh, I don't know. So, I'm using the thinnest O1 pen. This is not a nib. This is a pen, a marker. And this... Uh, I really don't know why I took the thinnest one. Probably because I don't want to risk thicker pen to make some unwanted lines, you know. I think I control the line thickness with thinner pen much better this way. All right. So let's do chin. That's it. The jawline. You see how I made the thicker line here? The thing I mentioned in the previous video about um, 
bottom lines being thicker you know just somehow gives solidity and of course if this is light source as it is so the lines on the opposite side that is not uh, exposed to the light source are also thickened I did it with a brush just in case you know okay back to Zagor's uh, face all right looking for the most comfortable position I'm rotating the drawing I am moving the lamp and now instead of left hand side the light is coming from the right hand side and it is all due not to my wish but to the fact that camera is hanging on the on the lamp hmm. I'm not happy this is too thick okay I'll worry about it later I'll just do the lower lip now a smug smile nostril wow better than I expected um, it is all left to improvisation and this instinct as I mentioned before how many lines why did they do two lines instead of one as it was in a pencil stage I I really don't know I just had to do it like I have to use now magnifying glass because I can't trust my eyes I can't trust my uh, hands my eyesight and hands I think I need to visit optometrist as soon as possible because this is a worrying, very worrying fact that I need to use magnifying glass for these details. I have quite a strong prescription for my glasses. I hope that you can see this properly. Right. Oh, I forgot uh, the eyes. I need to use the magnifier for the eyes. Mm -hmm. The paper I'm drawing on is quite a decent quality. And yet somehow this pen is... Uh, almost bleeding you know and that uh, kind of annoys me and I am very uncomfortable very uncomfortable worrying whether uh, this is going to work out and be as uh, as I want it It is not the matter of snobbism, you know, when uh, some musicians, for instance, insist on certain instruments and, and, and uh, playing this special brand. Okay, many times they are paid to, to, to talk favorably about certain instruments, but in the case of art and artists, good expensive equipment means better quality and last but not least less 
worries. So why didn't I use a different pen? Well, it's late now. It is as it is and I have to proceed. Hopefully you see this nicely. What do we have here? Uh -huh. I could use my pen, for instance, to delineate these things, but no. I will leave it for the end, because I'm going to slosh ink with a brush. Uh, it's no big deal, you know, seriously, no big deal, but yet... I want to contribute with some spontaneity. This is not working with the light coming from the right hand side. Let's change the position of the lamp to avoid shadows. Yeah, this is better. Hopefully you see nice. Oh, do you know, uh, my camera, I I, I use my camera as it is, you know, but most probably, most probably it can be uh, adjusted so I can zoom in, zoom out, maybe sort out uh, the light, lighting problem much better, and I didn't do it. So as soon as I'm less busy, I'm going to study this uh, instruction manual that I've downloaded from the internet and you know why? Because they sold me the product with uh, instruction manual for something else. Not this equipment that I bought, meaning camera. So, ho ho ho, it's holidays. Although I bought camera before the holidays, I'm not going to complain and create uh, problems, whatever. So when I learn how to do stuff with the camera, hopefully our recordings are going to be much better and more enjoyable. If I draw digitally a lot, as I do, ultimately my drawing on paper analog skills are going to suffer. And believe me when I tell you, no matter if we are talking about this um, fountain pen brush or brush pen or whatever, Brush is the best ultimate drawing tool. And I can't find words to recommend you if there is anyone to ask me, oh, what would you recommend for uh, the best inking tool? I would always say brush. And for penciling, I would always recommend harder lead or colored lead. And now, the final touch, here. Hmm. I wonder, maybe I should have uh, drawn this with the marker. Let me see. Well, okay. It's good with brush. You don't need to make strokes 
let's go back to this uh, piece of paper you know making stroke like uh, you do this line you do this line wow now fill it in several strokes and you have a nice bouncy thin thick thin line and now imagine this just this in a single stroke with little of dry brush effect you do it there are also flexible quite flexible drawing pen nibs which I also recommend so use them if you are willing to uh, to be one of the purveyors of uh, this almost forgotten art of drawing with ink I was quite annoyed when I uh, read for instance articles mentioning how almost everyone draws digitally nowadays right and they said oh in the previous era uh, drawings uh, had to be inked because they had to be printed you know to be visible for a print camera I don't think so in the old days before the, uh, Gutenberg even invented the printing press you know artists were drawing with brushes and pens and uh, wood sticks dipped in some kind of ink and they didn't think about um, about print they just did art so I was very as I said annoyed with this narrow-minded opinion because we know that good inking drawing is good inking drawing no matter the um, intention to print or not okay now let me check several pieces of uh, forgotten equipments here I can't find my ruler bear with me you are going to like this okay ruler is here and I'm proud of myself for not uh, crashing anything and uh, destroying making uh, problems etc computers are used nowadays for coloring for inking even penciling lettering but in the old days they used Linux guide for parallel lines and I'm going to demonstrate uh, how this is used you see there are dots through which uh, you are supposed to put your pencil when you slide this uh, lettering guide over the ruler and this disk inside the lettering guide can be rotated so the dots have bigger or rather larger distance and this way by turning anti-clockwise or clockwise it doesn't matter you get narrower um, lines although I have a guide for balloons the ellipsoid guy guide here it is for uh, making uh, nice nifty sexy uh, word balloons for some reason I love uh, these uh, around um, should I put balloon here yeah that's nice this is going to be empty but well so I'm going to use uh, this pen wait a minute this pen I've seen some comics with uh, really nice circular word balloons and uh, 
just because I can, I'm going to use it here. I'm going to start drawing balloon here. I'm going to finish, well, not here, but here, and leave this gap for the so-called pointer. You know the pointer? In comics, that goes from the word balloon and points towards uh, the person or character that speaks. So we have a nice circular balloon. <laughs> Okay, let's use these ellipses to make nice, non-shaking pointer emanating from here and going towards Zagor. You know, folks that don't read comics, they always assume that these pointers need to go towards the mouth of the speaking person. It doesn't need to be like that. It is important to just point it in the right direction. I really miss the old days and old comics when uh, these uh, word balloons and text used to be part, integral part of the artwork. Today, it's no more. Ah, what can be done? Now, we put here our lettering guide. We take our trusty red pencil, because, hey, I penciled with a uh, red pencil, so let's keep up with the tradition. Let me just check how this works. Bang. 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 Wow. This is nifty. This is sweet. See? Come on, leave the tray, stupid pencil. Oh dear. People, I don't know what happened, but for some reason, the pencil won't work. No way. No way. I can't believe this. Okay. At least you see some lines, and you have seen how in the professional world of comics, they used to line up, you know, these guidelines for uh, lettering, because uh, this is not known everywhere. In some cases, you had people with rulers and uh, painstakingly going, you know, in millimeters, marking this, then using a triangle, sliding it to make parallel lines. I really don't understand. Why did we have to cope with this? Why didn't we just... Uh, use this splendid, phenomenal, gorgeous thing. Well, for one thing, we didn't know that it exists. In my country, that used to be Yugoslavia, I really don't remember anyone using this. Now I'm using a needle, because I think I found what is the problem, and I'm trying to go through this hole and make it bigger so the pencil lead can go through it. All right. This is going to be a longer video than the previous one and I have lost now the count of, uh, of, 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 of these lines and uh, the position of the ruler. Ah, what the hell. Yeah.
trust me one thing letterers in the comic business didn't have problems like this and didn't make stupid uh, mistakes like I did now but I'm not going to hide my imperfections hopefully you got the idea how it is done sorry I can't do lettering because I botched the job but well, hey here is the finished Zagor and our friend Svetozar Angel is getting in a few days or maybe even sooner his drawing Thank you very much for your patience once again. Sorry for errors and uh, whatever. You were great. I wasn't half bad. So enjoy the festive season. Don't overdo it. And be healthy. Stay happy. Don't let anyone make you feel afraid. Boyan signing out. Salute.